What's good, what's poppin'? It's your boy Tommy B, Bar CEO. Welcome to the Tommy B Podcast, Volume 1. Well, that's not Volume 1. Let's say Episode 1 of the 2020 season. Um, My first uh, big announcement. This is what this whole podcast was about, but I figured let's just do a whole podcast. Um, I wanted to make an announcement. Um, I'm having another baby, a baby boy, tomorrow, so to speak. Um, She's getting uh, induced tomorrow, so I'm going to have another little Tommy B on the way. Um, and I'm going to take a two week, maybe three week vacation. Um, it's not really a vacation, but I'm going to just make sure everything's straight, make sure the baby's all right, make sure the wife's all right, you know, before I get back into, you know, dealing with bars and, and, uh, doing the battles and putting the battles together and all that good shit. Um, you know, you know, it's much love to the bars fan, but you know, sometimes I got to handle the family business first. Um, so yeah, with that said, I will be taking a little break. My VP Uno. Will be uh, handling bars for the two to three weeks that I will be out. He has a very, very big announcement. And it has to do with the singles division. Um, I'll let him do it. He's got a little, um, he's got a twist that he wants to throw out there, a curveball. Um, and he will be running bars for two to three weeks. Um, I approve the message that he's going to do. He's going to have uh, a lot of people... Uh, uh, with their eyes open, people are going to be interested in what he's going to do uh, while I'm gone. Um, moving on to the next thing, uh, salute to Gold Mike and Spit Your Bars. We just held a card last weekend called The Resurrection. Um, great card. A lot of talented MCs. I really enjoyed the battles. Um, Scrap and Diverse was a really good battle. Um, TJ and TR was a really good battle. Myself versus uh, John Blaze was on there. Um what was another one? Uh, Rockmon versus uh, Contacts. That was a good battle. You know, there's a lot of great battles. I'm going to post um, a poster with all the battle links on it. So everyone can check that out if you missed it. I'll maybe do a watch party in the future. Um, but yeah, Resurrection was dope. Uh, all the battles are not being judged. They're promo purposes. Um, we appreciate everyone that uh, uh, took part in it. Um, unfortunately, there are so many battles, right? And there, we would not have enough time to get them all judged within the time frame that we want. So we just decided, and since it's through three leagues, we don't know which standings it would count on. So, you know, we decided to just let it uh, be for the people and, um, you know, let the people decide. And, you know, there was no win or losses on that card. So it was kind of cool to have that big promotional thing, you know, start to work with Spitcher Bars a little bit more. It's hashtag Alliance. They joined the Alliance. That's a big thing. Um, me and, uh, bars and spitcher bars have always, you know, uh, not really bumped head, but we just, were very good competitors with each other. Um, there was no real actual beef. Um, but what we were two big online battle leagues, you know, fighting over the pie and, you know, we're all trying to get the whole pie, but really if we split that pie down the middle, we, you know, everyone can eat. So that's really what the theory that we were all going with, um, you know, salute to Spitcher Bars with their live event, Talk Greasy, uh, I thought that was a really stand-up thing that, uh, they hosted an event, and all the proceeds, uh, went to Greasy's family, um, R.I.P. Greasy, by the way, um, and there were some fire battles on that card, all the, the proceeds went to his family, and that, that just shows, you know, that's what hip-hop's all about, that's what battle rap's all about, um, you know, we, we care about each other, we talk a lot of shit, but deep down inside, we really care about each other, um, same thing with bars and, um, and gold Mike, you know, and all the Alliance battle leagues were, you know, we're doing this for the love of the culture and I'm glad to see something like that goes to the right place. Uh, moving on, we have uh beef night volume 28. God damn it. At the end of this month, February 29th, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six battles already booked. The sign up poster is on bars battle rap league. Go check that shit out on our group page. Uh, sign up. We're going to have maybe 8 to 10, maybe 12 battles tops on that card. Um, you know, Beef Night, man. It's a, you know, 28. We've been doing 28 cards of Beef Night. Um, back in the day, we had a lot of cards, and we used to call it just Beef Night. So um, it's a very legendary card, and a lot of great battles have came from this card. So, you know, hopefully this battle, or sorry, this card will have the same. Um, a couple of the battles to, to list off of the six that I have booked so far. Um, we have TJ versus Genesis, uh, the rematch. I believe they battled twice already. So I'm not sure if this would be a rubber match or not. I have to really go back and look at the standings. But, you know, the beef is real on this one. They both have each other. I'm not going to say that they don't like each other, 
but they're not best friends. So and there's there is a very competitive rivalry between the two. So that's gonna be something we want to see. There's two bars vets that are really gonna be putting on for bars. Genesis has been up and down, but he got his first win so far in the 2020 season. So he's looking to build on that. TJ making his 2020 season debut. Um, so you know we're gonna see exactly where these two MCs are gonna go. I I think it's gonna be a classic. They both they both bring a lot to the table. So salute to both of them. That will be the main event. TJ Hogan versus Genesis. The co-main event is going to be Nickel Plated versus Scully G to Alley Kid. And I believe there's money on the line. Um, we have Nickel Plated who had another live battle. He's And he's booked for another one. And he's just, you know, he's keeping the ball rolling. Really, 2020 is a really good start for him so far. Scully G to Alley Kid was last month's uh, MC of the month. And uh, he's in a running. He's nominated for this uh uh, sorry, yeah, last, he was December and Jan and January, no, sorry, December, yes, December, and he's nominated for January, sorry, um, so he's, he's always in a running in bars when it comes to these top guys, and he's really been one of the lead runners right now in bars, you know, winning a lot of battles, I believe he's like 5-0 and o right now on a five battle win streak, so, will Nickel play to put the end to, uh, the end to it, uh, or will Scully G run over him like he did with the rest of his competition and i believe that this battle will be for money i'm not exactly sure how much of the money is going to be on the line um but you know salute to them it's going to be a high rollers division battle um so you, the bro they're both uh no scully g will be making his debut in the high rollers i think nickel plated had one battle in the tournament um but yeah that's going to be a good battle and that's why it's going to be a co-main event that's a close one i ain't going to do no predictions right now i just want to list off the battles and talk a little bit about them but um you know, that's going to be a solid battle. Um, we also have Reese Love, the newly crowned FEMC Division Champion. She's going up against Morningstar. Uh, this is the first uh, male battle, uh, battle, battle, well, the first male that she's battled. Um, can't even speak sometimes. Um, Reese Love is uh, looking to make her mark in bars. And, um, you know, she captured the FEMC Division Championship over Hayes. Um, and she's looking to make a statement by showing the boys that she can battle too. So, this is going to be a good one. Uh, Morningstar came off of a loss against Scully G. I know he's looking to defend that, and he's making his bars. Uh, both at, both both Reese Love and Morningstar are making their bars uh, 2020 season debut, so salute to both of them. Uh, next up, we have Cassio King battling Flip. Now, both of these guys are new to bars. They're both the 2020 wave. Flip is making a name for himself very fast. He is 2-0 in the 2020 season, and now he's battling again. So if he gets a win here, he'd be 3-0. and That would put him up at the top of the rankings for the 2020 season. So, you know, he's going to keep battling, and uh, he's going to keep climbing. So um, salute to Flip. Uh, Cassio King on the other side. He uh, won his last battle versus Jay Killam in a freestyle battle, and Cassio King has never used his pen in bars, so we don't really know what his pen's going to be like. So that's going to be something to uh, see. You know, Cassio's really got to sit there and think about his bars, not just freestyle it. And, you know, the freestyle battle he had with Graphic was not too bad at all. I feel like he's just got to get the battle rap criteria down, and he'll, he's going to be a problem. Uh, moving on to Brandon Wald, a.k.a. Uh, Shogun, or Shogain, sorry, Shogain. Versus Cassio, which is another uh, Cassio battle rapper. Um, not Cassio King, but he just goes by Cassio. He's a live battle rapper, and he's facing a new Bars MC making his Bars debut in uh, Shogain. So that's going to be a good battle. Um, I know both MCs are very talented. Cassio himself battles live, so you know he's got some Bars. We're really going to see what Shogain is about, learn a little bit about him. They're uh, both making their bars. No, 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 sorry. Cassio has one win in the, the 2020 season. So if he gets another win, he'll be gro going up the standings really fast. Guys, with the 2020 season, guys, you know, I know a lot of guys are might be a little upset talking about their, uh, you know, their records from the past and stuff like that. We're looking to, you know, give everyone fair ground in, in this new season. So, you know, get your battles in. Don't, um, you know, don't just sit there and not get any battles and wonder why you're not getting title shots. The 2020 season is what it's all about this year. Um, this is the style. This is the trend that we're going with. So get your battles in. Get your rank up. Um, we are still going to keep the overall rankings, and they still are going to matter. Um, but as of right now, we're just focusing on the 2020 season. So get your battles in. Go and battle. Get your rank up. Um, 
a little thing I wanted to talk about switching gears a little bit. Um, and this is, you know, I, I'm always about positivity, but there's some shit that I have to point out every once in a while. And it goes out to these live battle rappers, whether you just started battling live or you've been battling live for a while. Um, you know, a lot of you guys put the live circuit over top of the online battle rap circuit, so to speak. Um, I, in my opinion, I think no matter what you do, you should put your all and you should put all your effort into promoing your battles, whether it's online or live. I see a lot of guys that go live and they push the hell out of their live battles. That's cool. That's what I want to see. I love the hustle. But don't neglect your online battles. For instance, this resurrection uh, card. We promoed for it. We hosted all these battles. We put these battles together. And next thing you know, they're getting 30 views a battle. Then I look at the battlers and see who's battling. I'm like, hey, maybe it's, it's just the battlers are not quite known enough. Then I'm thinking, what am we talking about? This is a resurrection. Everyone knows the MCs on resurrection cards. So we look at the views. And if they got 30 views, and then I look at the battle rappers that are on the card that have live battles, and their battles are pushing 1,000 views, and that's all I see is them pushing their live battles, but they don't push their online battles. That's something I really don't, it doesn't sit well with us because... Yeah, you're on a live stage, and yeah, you're in front of people, and it's a different, it's a different, uh, it's apples and oranges. It's a different feeling to battle rap, but still, if you're putting out some work, promote your shit. You know, don't just put all your effort into promoting your live shit. Promo your online shit also. I never put online over live, and I would never put live over online. It's both a different beast. You know, but I do think that no matter what you do, you should promo the hell out of it and make the best out of it um, and try to get as many views as you can get yourself out there. Don't just rely on, you know, the admins and the, the, the people that host the battles to get all the views for you. That's, you know, uh, what I do is I put the battle together. I promo it on all my alliance leagues. I put it out as much as I can for the day. I'm not going to spend days and days and days sharing your stuff. That's up to you guys to do that. Um, you know, and you're not, you're going to, you know, and this is why I don't think this is what the, the what, what kind of really doesn't sit right with me. Like, why would you not push your work no matter what you do? You know what I mean? It's, you know, why, why push one thing and not the other? Push them both. Maybe it hasn't been long enough, but push them both. So this goes, that goes out to all the live battle rappers out there that put uh live way over online battle rap. You know, you started off and online, you should still support it and you should still support your work no matter what. So I'm kind of done with that, that kind of rant. Um, you know, buy a Bars t-shirt, buy a Bars hoodie. Decent prices, free shipping right to your door, any color, any logo. We have different styles of shirts and t-shirts or t-shirts and hoodies. We have different colors of the logos, you know, with a black or white hoodie or sweatshirt, you know, get you know, hit up the PayPal. We can work something out. It'll be at your house 2 to 3 weeks. You know, it's a it's a great way to support our movement and to keep us going and to give us some drive to keep doing this because you know we have been doing this for a while so you know it'd be nice to get a couple dollars here and there you know to go towards the league so we can host like different you know events and, and put give out money you know what i mean um moving on to the high rollers division finals that was fire uh congratulations to fez of the beast that took the 200 hundred dollar prize money home salute the chaotic for coming in second you know, that's what Bars is all about, man. Putting money in some of these rappers' pockets. Fezzo took home $200. You know, that that's a week's worth of groceries for me, man. Um, so, you know, salute to him. Keep that up. You know, look out for our next High Rollers tournament. It has not been announced yet. We are going to do it again. We are going to make some changes to it to make it go faster. Uh, I do believe that we did have the battles too... You know, it took a long time. It took like seven, eight months to get the, the full tournament done. So we're, what we're really going to do is have more battles, or no, sorry, make the battles closer together than to, than to spread them out like we did. You know, instead of once a, uh, once a month, we're going to do it like every two weeks. Um, that's what, more than enough uh, time to get your round in because they're only one round, and it will keep the tournament moving and getting the tournaments done faster. If we can get a tournament done in two months, then we can keep having them every two months, and I think that's a great way to get money uh, flowing in bars and to get people paid off their lyrics um salute to gavin again for coming in second i mean the man put up a really good fight in my opinion my personal opinion um i think that chaotic got it but i can see why 
Fezzel got it, you know what I mean? And um, it really was punches versus delivery, flow versus personals. You know, it was um, it was a solid battle, and it, it definitely is a Bars Classic. Um, I'm happy to see an actual tournament go all the way to the finals and two guys slug it out for the money because our first high rollers division um, uh, championship, it was, you know, YBG made it to the finals and then uh, D-Bars didn't want to battle in the finals. So, you know, we, it's cool to see uh, these guys slug it out for the money. And I'm happy that the second place got some money and third place got their entry fee back. So next tournament, uh, we're going to maybe... Ask for $25, that would be, you know, a little bit more incentive. Maybe make the pot a little bit bigger. We're always looking to make it bigger and better. Like last, the year before that was a $100 prize. Uh, we had a $15 tournament and we bumped it up to 20 and 20 you know, ended up being a $200 first prize. So, you know, maybe we can get a little bit more money in the entry fee, you know, get the high rollers division moving. And, you know, the high rollers division is not just the high rollers uh, tournament. We have high rollers battles. Like, for instance, on this card on the 28th, Nickel Plated and Scully G, they are putting up money. So there is money to be made in Bars Battle Rap League. You know, that's what we're looking to do because uh, you know, we're all about, you know, getting some money flowing in the MC's pockets. And yes, we are taking our 10% in everything we do. Bars Battle Rap League deserves some kind of cut. If MCs are going to make money doing this online, I think we deserve it too. So, you know, whether we host a battle for you, um, it's got, we're going to get our 10% because we're going to host the battle for you. We're going to put the battle together. We're going to promo the battle. We're going to find judges for the battle. We're going to transfer the money. So we deserve something in return. That's the way I sit on it. And that's the way it's going to be. Um, but if you want to battle for money on bars, we can do it. You know, you can get it done. We, it's very fair. All the money gets transferred properly. Ask Fezzo, ask Chaotic. They both got their money the day of the end of the tournament. And the day of the battle, as soon as the battle is judged and done with, you will get your money. Uh, moving on to um, the award show. We just had the award, the part one award of the award show drop, I mean, two days ago. Tonight, we'll be dropping part two. It's going to have the bigger awards like MC of the Year, Battle of the Year, Judge of the Year, uh, most to what are... Uh, What's the, the one to watch for 2020? A lot of the bigger um, awards are going to be on the part two award show. So make sure to peep that tonight. Share that shit. You know, be happy about your awards if you win. Um, even if you're nominated, I think it's a great thing. Um, we always do this at the end of every year. We did drop this uh, these award shows a little later. You know, the 2020 was a, or sorry, 2019 was a crazy year. And um, a little bit misorganized in my opinion, but you know this year we're looking to make everything better. Um, you know if there's any issues you find with the league, anything you want to you know have a chance to put your part in to maybe make a tweak here and there, hit me up in the inbox and we'll definitely take what you have to say into consideration. Um, we're always looking to make this league better. Uh, judges, I want to talk to judges for a little bit. First off, I appreciate all the judges. Um, you know, giving your time for us for free, we very much appreciate it. But if you're tagged to be a judge, and we ask that we're looking for judges, and you volunteer to judge, get your judgment in three to four days. You know, let's not make it a week. I mean, I know it's for free, and I know we're taking your time, some of your time up, but these, these MCs are going to wait. On the other hand, on the flip side, MCs, don't be upset if it takes three to four days to get your battle judged. You know what I mean? Like, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I understand if it takes weeks, you know, which sometimes happen. And if you can't judge a battle, if you say you can judge a battle, then all of a sudden you can't just say, hey, I can't, so we can find another judge. Because there's one thing that I hate to do is find another judge to replace another judge and not even have a reason to do it just because it took them that long to get the shit judged. Um... So yeah, judges, thank you. You know, but let's just try to you know make it come in a little faster. Uh, MCs, be a little bit more patient, and everything will be kosher. Uh, moving on, we have an on wax tournament sign up thread uh, hosted by Rick Savage. Rick Savage is now the official GM for the on wax division. He will be hosting a tournament um, and popping that division off back again, and we will find a champion for the on wax division. Uh, Black Zod, who no longer uh, will be affiliated with Bars, he was the last on wax champion, so we have decided to strip him from that title and get that title um, back, or sorry, that division back up and running. 
So salute to Rick Savage. We decided to take him off the diss track division. That will be run by uh, our VP, Da Uno. He will be running the diss track division. So if you're looking for a diss track battle, you hit him up or myself because I will be you know, working all winter long on bars. Um, so you can hit me up anytime. But when it comes to summer and spring, that's when you got to hit up the actual GMs to get your battles in. Um, moving on, uh, salute to uh, Will Porter and Joe, Joey Brown. Uh, they had a really good uh, banger division battle. Um, Will Porter won, but wanted to not make it count on the records because it was for the culture. They had a good cause for the battle. They were talking about real life shit, about real problems and shit like that. It was a great, a great battle. Um, I definitely want you guys to check that shit out. Um, you know, both MCs really, really had some good, good messages in their songs, and I love to see these guys prosper, whether it's on beat or off. Um, we have Mayhem that just picked up the win over his uh, 2020 season in the Banger Division over Young Hood. Young Hood made his bars debut, unfortunately took the L, but, you know, it's good to see new faces. We have a really big wave um, of new faces in bars. I wanted to talk about the Young Stitch versus AF Sin battle. That, in my opinion, is an early candidate for Battle of the Year. And it had a really good buzz. Now, I don't know if it was Young Stitch um, having a big fan base. And I'd love to book him again as soon as possible. Uh, because the man's very talented. But um, he definitely brought a lot of um, views to the table. Um, that battle took off in a week. 600 views. And that really is not what we used to have in. And uh, we appreciate that. And along with uh, the views of that battle, we got a lot of new faces. A lot of new guys from Canada that I'm really excited to to see put for in bars because not only am I from Canada they're like in my neck of the woods like I could actually meet these guys which I've always looked forward to doing when it comes to the bars battle rap league you know meeting these guys so um, a lot of the guys from you know Toronto and Oshawa and you know all from all over the place I'm in Barrie so hit me up if you want to link up and we can uh, chop it up about bars I'm looking to do a live uh, venue sometime in Oshawa this year so you know a lot of those guys that are in bars and new faces will probably be in the building so it's good to see that um I just dropped the singles division 2020 standings that is up to date I'm going to be doing that with every division uh soon um when my two to three weeks uh vacation is up I will be back and running as soon as possible but yeah, that's pretty much what this podcast was about. Just promoting the new shit that's happening in bars. Letting you guys know what's going down. Again, be on the look for Da Uno's new announcement. I wouldn't say new. I guess it is a new announcement because this is a new... It's it's big. This is a big announcement for Da Uno. And a big announcement for me to let you guys know that you know I'm going to be gone for two to three weeks. Um, I appreciate all the work everyone's been putting in. 2020 has started off with a bang. We had a lot of good battles so far. We had a lot of, you know, um, high viewed battles so far. So I'm really excited to see what the rest of 2020 brings. So salute to everybody. I'm signing off. You won't be seeing much. Uh, disconnected for a second. Salute to Bars fam. You know it's love, man. It's your, it's your CEO signing off once again. Bars, bitch. <laughs>